JTG Darty Racing just dropped some bad news. The 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season is about to begin, and JTG Darty Racing is almost finished with its lineup of partners for the number 47 Kroger Racing Camaro. And so, who will be on the list? And what are the latest tidbits of information in NASCAR? Let's find out. Hello NASCAR fam and welcome back to NASCAR Live. But before we begin, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. And let's begin. Paul Zendrick, JTG Doherty Racing's VP of Corporate Partnerships stated, we are humbled to share the news about our distinguished Kroger Racing Partner lineup today. Kroger is at the summit of the pyramid because without their steadfast support, we would not have been able to accomplish this. Together, we have developed a best-in-class program that brings in both new and current partners positive returns on investment. The co-owner of JTG Doherty Racing, Tad Geschichter, added, It has been a hectic off-season, and we are anxious to get the season started with all of our partners. This year, we want to sell cases while also winning races. Since 2010, the Kroger Company, the largest grocery chain in the country, and one of JTG Doherty Racing's longest standing partnerships, has been crucial to the business. Numerous divisions and CPG, or Consumer Packaged Goods, partners have collaborated with the team to plan countless retail events and promotional activities. Banners will change positions on Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s number 47 Camaro in order to line in with the divisional activations. The brands that fall under this umbrella include Kroger, Dillon's, Food for Less, Fry's Food Stores, Mariano's, Ralph's, and Smith. The Clash, a thrilling NASCAR preseason race held at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, will begin with Food for Less taking center stage. During the exhibition race this Sunday on Fox, the number 47 Food for Less Camaro will be sporting the incredibly creamy Velveeta brand from the Kraft Heinz Company. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., a two-time winner of the NASCAR Cup Series races and two-time winner of the NASCAR Xfinity Series, said, We have an impressive list of partners in our Kroger Racing program. We're looking forward to starting our regular season and delivering both on and off the track for our Kroger Racing partners. The Coca-Cola Company, which has deep-rooted connections to stock car racing, is one of many new partners that JTG Doherty Racing has added. Coca-Cola will be featured in a number of races on the number 47, thanks to the beverage giant's upgraded agreement with the Kroger Racing Team this year. The Kellogg Company, which offers scrumptious brands we know and love, while creating better days and a place at the table for everyone through trusted food brands, has been added as another significant partner. The Kellogg Company will highlight hero brands like Cheez-It Snack Crackers and Kellogg's Frosted Flake Cereal that provides the sweet spark to go all in. Blue Buffalo Dog and Cat Food, made with the best natural ingredients, is also a recent addition to the lineup. Here, high-quality ingredients are just the start. Since the company's inception, our team owners have always held animals close to their hearts, therefore the brand fits perfectly. Dryer's Grand Ice Cream is signed on, so it will undoubtedly become a fan favorite. Scoop after scoop has been offered by Dryer's Grand Ice Cream for almost a century. The Drumstick brand, a fixture in the team's freezer since its introduction in 1928, and a favorite of Americans, will be highlighted. Treetop has additionally joined the race group, maintaining the momentum. The applesauce that people have been enjoying for generations is made from fruit that Treetop harvests with pride in good fruit and producing 100% fruit juice. On the number 47 Camaro, you can see both their applesauce and apple juice. We are also thrilled to announce that Upfield has joined the group. Although they are new to us, racing has been enjoying their slowly whipped country croc spread for years. During Darlington's throwback weekend, NASCAR fans may witness Mom's Ally in action. Aside from that, I can't believe it's not butter will be highlighted in the event. But wait, there's more! The group would like to extend a warm welcome to Pit Boss, who will serve as this company's official grilling partner and who falls under the rubs and spices category. We are also pleased to announce that Sugarland's making company, which practices the traditional craft of distilling premium award-winning spirits, has joined the racing organization. 
Sanofi's extensive portfolio of icy hot, pain-relieving products has also been inked to assist in easing our aches and pains during the season. Our long-term partners are the next group. Kimberly Clark has been a trusted business associate of ours for more than a decade, much like the Kroger Company. They made their debut on the number 47 in 2010 with Scott Products and continued to sponsor it when they visited Victory Lane at Watkins Glen International in 2014. Throughout the 2023 season, Stenhouse Jr.'s automobile will bear numerous advertisements for Scott brand, Cottonelle, Kleenex, and Viva. The first and foremost is kicking off the regular season with Cottonelle on the number 47 Kroger Camaro for the Daytona 500 on February 19th. Bimbo Bakeries USA has returned for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season, which makes them one of our innovative partners. Their shopper marketing team has been creatively highlighting and successfully launching the collaboration throughout the year for the past five years. In addition to recognizing their renowned businesses, we look forward to growing together in the future. The hero brand is defined as Thomas's, which is recognized for its English muffins to everything bagels, while Intamin's and Ballpark Buns and Rolls will also get some excellent visibility at specific events. The reputable brands of Colgate Palmolive are yet another returning partner. They have provided services to hundreds of millions of customers worldwide for the past 200 years. Throughout the 2022 season, their Irish Spring Body Wash was shown in a number of events and was placed on the number 47 Kroger Racing Camaro specifically for the Bristol Dirt Race. Due to the dust that was created during that spectacular event, the team needed Irish Spring Body Wash. On April 9th, Irish Spring will make a comeback at the Bristol Dirt Race. General Mills is back with the ideal bars for wherever you are as they switch from the body wash category to the snack bar area. With snacks that keep you going all day, Nature Valley is a powerhouse. They are also offering party pizza and Totina's Golden Pizza Rolls. Conagra Brands, which comes after, places innovation at the core of what they do while also drawing on a long history of exceptional cuisine. Back atop the number 47 Camaro is the renowned protein bar and the Slim Jim. The Hershey Company, which has 90 well-known brands and a history of deliciousness, is a powerhouse brand that complements the list of other strong brands. On Stenhouse Jr.'s number 47 Camaro in Charlotte last year, the Reese's brand made a welcome comeback to NASCAR, which brought back fond memories. The All-Star Race Weekend at North Wilkesboro Speedway will be their first time joining us. Next up is Sunny D, a distinctive orange beverage from Harvest Hill that is robust and delicious. Prior to Stenhouse Jr.'s joining JTG Doherty Racing in 2020, they had a lengthy history together. They have been instrumental in Stenhouse Jr.'s NASCAR Cup Series success, contributing to his two victories, three pole awards, 20 top five finishes, and 45 top 10 finishes, so we are happy to announce their commitment for this season. Another dependable partner is Riviana Foods, Inc., which offers minute rice to fit our team's hectic schedule and the needs of NASCAR fans. For a side dish or as an ingredient in a recipe, Minute Rice, which is well known and quick to prepare, has outstanding flavor. So the list has now come to an end. The team intends to release more information over the next few weeks when contracts are filed away. For now, make sure to watch the preseason exhibition race at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, the Bush Light Clash at the Coliseum, which will begin to air on Sunday on Fox, MRN Radio, and Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90, with qualifying heat races set to begin at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Setting the stage, Los Angeles set for the second annual Clash at the Coliseum. The Hollywood sign is perched on the faraway Santa Monica Mountains in the northwest. Northeastern view of the downtown skyline, the San Gabriel Mountains in the east. Unmistakably, NASCAR is in Los Angeles, California. The Coliseum setting for the 2023 Bush Light Clash might just as easily be a Hollywood stage. Expectations are higher than ever going into Sunday night's main event at the beautiful and historic Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, which is set to host the off-season defroster of an exhibition race for the second straight season. When Daniel Suarez returned to Southern California after becoming the first native of Mexico to win an NASCAR Cup Series race at Sonoma Raceway last season, he immediately sensed the excitement. As he held his first press conference of 2023 from the 1923 club on top of United Airlines Field, that sense of global pride was evident. Suarez added, Last year was arguably the most incredible event I have ever been a part of. NASCAR, you people in the media and the teams, they hit the ball out of the park. 
Unbelievable things happened. Super fantastic fans indeed. Also incredible was the energy. The fanfare at driver introductions last year was the most I've ever experienced. So it was quite special, and the expectations are all really high for the second time. And already on top of all of this for me, racing here in LA is somewhat like racing at home. You know there's a lot of Hispanics here, so this is extra exciting for me. A big smile for me racing here that I can almost call home. Mike Joy, who has been calling NASCAR races on Fox for the past 23 seasons and has covered the sport for decades, has a deep understanding of the sport's past. Joy is mesmerized by the excitement of the storied venue, from its grassroots upstarts to the Hollywood flair of the present. We're in the very center of Los Angeles, Joy stated on Friday, and for this sport to have advanced to the point where the guys in charge of NASCAR were willing to absolutely defy convention and declare, we're going to do what we did in 1956 at Soldier Field in Chicago, and we're going to pave a track within a stadium. We were all as thrilled as we did when they said, we're going to race the cup cars there. Watch this as well. This is great in my opinion. The Super Bowl, the Olympics, and the World Series have all been held in this venue, adding to its allure. According to Shannon Spake of Fox Sports, its aura of mystery endears it to a devoted following on a global scale. According to Spake, who usually anchors NASCAR Race Hub on FS1, if you show someone a photo of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum, they'll immediately recognize it. I've been here as a sideline reporter for college football and it's great. I know Chuck McDonald, Fox producer, and I've worked football games here previously. The one thing that last year that I wish we had was that I wish it would finish under the lights, and that's what we were going to have this season. I think with the torch lit and the cars on the racetrack and the brake rotors glowing and all that stuff, we're going to see Sunday at this location. I can't wait. I'm so excited. What was previously thought to be impossible has now been made achievable thanks to the event's success, including the quick transformation of a football field into a racetrack and the staging of an exciting show featuring musical performances by Cypress Hill, Wiz Khalifa, and Dixie D'Amelio. 2014 champion Kevin Harvick remarked on Saturday, I believe this has opened up a lot of doors that perhaps people in the past weren't really expecting to be opened, because when I arrived here the previous year, I genuinely believed that this was going to be a joke. But for me, it was definitely one of the races from the previous year where I had the most enjoyment. Are you excited for this season? Let us know in the comment box below! And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos.